and I can guess I can get myself into more trouble on this videotape by talking about something that's controversial, the Mars colony, which has a uh, has slaves up there. That's their, they've already brought the New World Order um, into reality there on Mars. They haven't quite brought it into total fruition here on Earth. And in my 93 newsletters, I pointed out prior to the um, spacecraft that was to go there in 93, I gave a list of American and Russian spacecraft that had been sent to Mars. If you think back on things, if you're my age, you'll remember that when I was a child, the big issue was, is there life on Mars? Well, after sending many, many spacecraft to Mars, and some of these cost billions of dollars, scientists still tell us they don't know whether there's life on Mars. And if you look at that list, I listed the spacecraft that had gone to Mars. They all malfunctioned. Very strange. And so I told my, my readers in my newsletter in 93, I said, look at the past history of how all of these have malfunctioned or produced results that were of no significance. I said, the same thing will happen to this multi-billion dollar space probe. And when it did, people began to think, well, maybe Fritz is right. This is pretty amazing that he could predict that this space probe would have problems. Okay, we've got uh, three lists. Shall I go on? Okay, we've got three lists. Um, people have consistently asked me about the three lists, the red list, the blue list, the yellow list. One of my friends decided to follow the blue mar uh, uh, splotches, markers that they've put on these road signs, and strangely enough, it led them to a site that shouldn't have had Bob Dwyer, but it did and looked like it had been built for the purpose of being a concentration camp in the future. Yes, that's what these lists are all about. The red list will, will be, um, it's 187,000 uh, Americans, and the lists, which are on computers, have already been distributed and uh, perhaps the scenario that will happen uh, to round up people on the red list will go like this. And this comes from a man who, part of it comes, um, uh, the bulk of it comes from a man who was the inspector for the Joint Chiefs of Staff of these concentration camps. Uh, there may be a, an electrical blackout at night. If you have an electrical blackout, watch out. It might be a cover for them coming for the red list. And then people like these Russians who, who are hiding, they have these red, uh, the names. They will come at 4 a.m. just like they came at that time for Jesus. They'll pull you out of your house and they will, they will take you in a van, take you to like a cul-de-sac where a helicopters flying in that are black. They're flying off of the their regular system navigation will take you to sites and then take you to locations where you will be terminated.